Hey everybody, Dan Martell here, serial entrepreneur, investor, and creator of SaaS Academy. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you five reasons you should be joining a CEO group to help you grow and scale your business. Now, this is a part two of a, another episode. If you missed that one, check out last week where I broke down the eight things I learned rally car racing here on location at Dirtfish, just outside of Seattle. They will help you grow your business. But in this video, I wanna share the five reasons why you need to join a CEO group to help you grow and scale your business. So here's a quick story, a decade plus ago, I was at an event with my brother. It was one of those weekend seminars with some guru on stage preaching about you know, business life transformation. And at the end of the weekend, he talked about his opportunity to join him for his version of a mastermind. And I was 27, 28 at the time, my brother was a couple years younger than me. And he just felt compelled and I was excited and I was like, you know, I'd been investing in myself. I hired a coach. I'd read, you know, at that point, maybe a hundred business books and I, and I was really excited for him and he's like, I'm going to do it. Now you got to understand at this moment, he had just started his home building company. He had no money. He literally had a $50,000 credit card. The bank gave him and the, the opportunity on stage was $35,000 dollars and he jumped out of his chair and he ran to the back of the room and he enrolled and it was a three-year program and really one of the big reasons that he joined was because he was allowed the bonus the bonus was that he could invite another family member to join him so guess who the lucky soul was so for three years my brother and i traveled around the u.s and canada really working on ourselves and being around other incredible entrepreneurs and learning strategies and techniques and tactics that really helped us kind of move our business and our lives, honestly, more importantly, our, our personal and our relationships to the next level. And that opportunity set him up, set up the foundation for him to build one of the largest and fastest growing home building companies in the world, gave me the tools and the techniques and the confidence to move to San Francisco, Silicon Valley and build multiple venture backed startups that I eventually exit and invest in, you know, dozens of companies like Intercom, Hootsuite, et cetera. And all of that was a result of investing in CEO groups, of taking the time to get out of our office, go to the place like Dirtfish, right here where I'm at right now, rally car racing is technically business. So what I wanna share with you is the five reasons you must, must, must join a CEO group to help you scale to the next level of your business. Number one, compress decades into days. Now I first heard Tony Robbins share that sentence with me, but it holds true. You know, we're here at Dirtfish with my buddy Jason Gaynard, the, the creator of MMT, a, a group of incredible entrepreneurs. Every year it's a, it's a big event. It's not this event. This is kind of like a, a, a satellite type event off the main event that he runs once a year. 150 entrepreneurs go to a new location and we connect and we learn stuff. And just even being here with the eight other entrepreneurs, you know, where a lot of people think like, oh, must be fun. Um, between our sessions, between you know racing out there on the dirt and the tarmac, we're actually talking about our lives and our business. And just yesterday, uh, one of the guys here, John, I was talking to him about tax planning and, and financial investment. This guy is one of the top experts in the world, literally. He's the coach to all the financial advisors. He's got like 250 people in his program. He's written like 14 books on the topic. And to have that opportunity to talk to somebody that literally, I think John's like 64 now, decades of experience, decades compressed into days, not even days, into minutes of a conversation where he could go, where are you at? Boom, you can get rid of all that noise, focus on this, I'll send you the book, you'll get the strategy you need. Incredible value, and that's what you find when you go to these CEO groups. You find people that for what, you know, their background's completely different than yours, and they can shed some light that'll really help you get to that next level faster. Just think about yourself in your business. You know, you've been going for X amount of years. If you had to start back to the beginning, day one, from scratch, how much faster could you get to this point knowing what you know, right? A lot of people say half the time. Other people say, I could do it in a third of the time. It is what it is for you, but I know that if you get around incredibly smart people, you will compress decades into days for your learnings. Number two, positive peer pressure. Now here's one of the 
best parts. Maybe you've heard this quote that um, if you're the smartest person in the room, you want to find another room. Well, here's what I've learned is if you go to a CEO group, um, you know, a program where they collect and, you know, there's an application process and you got to get vetted and you show up, there's a good chance you're going to feel a little imposter syndrome. It happens to me all the time. I mean, the caliber of entrepreneurs, you know, the, the, the magnitude of some of these businesses that people have created are just mind blowing. You know, a couple of years ago, I had the privilege of being invited to spend a week with Richard Branson at his house in Switzerland. And, you know, we landed at the airport and we met some of the other people that had been invited. And all of a sudden I meet this guy named Brian and I, you know, we didn't really talk about what do you do at first. And we're driving in the van up to the chalet, up this winding road in Switzerland. And eventually I was just like, Hey Brian, you know, what do you do? And he's like, Oh, well, I built the company called Braintree. And I remember seeing about six months prior that Braintree was acquired by PayPal for like $800 million and reading that Brian was the sole founder. And I mean, talk about like, okay, that's a next level. That's a bigger game. I definitely don't feel like the smartest. And then I looked around, there's guys like Tim Ferriss, the co-founder of Square and all these other incredible entrepreneurs. But the truth is, is when you get in that environment, it's going to force you to think bigger, to act bigger, to, to have bigger dreams for yourself. And to me, that is one of the most powerful things that you're going to get from being part of an incredible group. Number three, time away to focus on a higher level. Too often, we're in our business, in our office, heads down, grinding, tap, tap, and tapping on our keyboards, and we don't take a second to lift our heads and breathe and really look at like, what are we building here? Where are we going with this thing? Thinking strategically and having vision for our lives and our business. And what I find is one of the most important benefits of being around other entrepreneurs is just that space away from your team, away from the office, away from the, the amount of chatter and noise from team or from customers you know, interrupting you to just think strategically about the business, where you're at, where do you wanna go, getting some guidance from the other members of the group in the strategic and tactical ways you can get there faster, incredible, and really just giving yourself that cadence to think and, and focus on strategic level stuff. Just do yourself the favor and create that space for you to plan, to have, create a bigger vision, to really focus on the next level of your company. That to me is invaluable. Number four, pull you up when you're feeling down. You know, maybe you don't have the the fortune of having an incredible co-founder in your business or a few co-founders. But what I've discovered, you know, having built sole, sole founder, a few companies and having, you know, a co-founder like Ethan at my previous company, uh, Flowtown, just an incredible and human uh, being is having somebody that when you're feeling down to pull you up, right? Where you're feeling like the world is against you to, to kind of have this glass half full mentality and to kind of walk you through your thinking and make you feel a lot better of the opportunity. And, and being in a CEO group of being around people where they're potentially crushing it and having these great outcomes and you know you might be dealing with some personal issues at home with your you know your your loved one or some health issues or whatever it is to pull you up to to support you to lift you to the next level of your thinking your mindset to get you out of a rut i mean what's that worth because here's what i know the downside if you can't get that upward spiral going and you're in a downward spiral is potentially sacrificing your business, sacrificing your health, psych sacrificing your mental health. And I've, you know, unfortunately had just too many people that, you know, have uh, made the wrong decision when it came to dealing with pressure and noise in their business as an entrepreneur and unfortunately have taken their lives. And I think that it's easy when we're in our office behind a keyboard by ourselves working late, you know, Sunday mornings going to the office and not having those people that are gonna ask you how you're doing and really dive in and not just let the, you know, your standard answer of, yeah, oh, crushing it, doing so well, thanks for asking. No, they're gonna say, no, man, Re really. Like Chris, who's one of the guys here at this event, you know, he goes deep. He's not gonna let you just get away with like, oh yeah, everything's awesome. No, man, what are you struggling with? You know, let's be honest, we're here for a reason. And I just think that that access and, and care and empathy that comes from a group like a, a really great curated CEO group uh, is worth everything to just be able to have those people support you. Number five, do cool stuff. Now, I'm here just outside of Seattle at an incredible place called Dirtfish, rally car racing, just taking incredible high-speed turns in the woods, through the trees, next to you know rivers and cement blocks and trying to essentially keep the rubber side down, you know, you know, 
pushing ourselves into corners and praying that we don't hit the wall. And with all that being said, which is an incredible thing to do, it's actually business. It's considered business. Why? Because we're here as an entrepreneurial group. We're not only you know, learning new skills, but if you watch last week's episode, I break down the actual business strategies. Crazy, I know, people don't get it. The things that I learned that I can apply to my business by listening to our instructors teach us about taking corners, about going fast, about getting momentum and escape velocity in our driving that we can apply to our business. So I don't know, if you're into doing cool stuff, having fun, going on excursions, you know, from, I've done everything from, I run a group every year for backcountry snowboarding or skiing, you know, called Maple Summit. I've gone indoor skydiving, racing cars on asphalt around, you know, racetracks to rally car racing, literally everything. Just, you know, we're planning a hunting trip, kiteboarding, whatever you want to do. If you're part of a group, the best part is they take care of all the planning so you can enjoy yourself, have an incredible time, get strategies to grow your business, and start knocking off some of those items on your bucket list. So this is what I have for you this week. I just wanna do a quick recap. Number one, compress decades into days. Number two, positive peer pressure. Have people force you to play a bigger game. Number three, time away to focus on a higher level. Number four, pull you up when you're feeling down. And number five, do cool stuff. So with that, I just want to encourage you to find a group of peers that share the same zest and vision for their life and get around them, spend time with them, do cool things like we're doing here in Seattle at Dirtfish and just take your, you know, your thoughts, your ideas, your business to the next level and really focus on the personal, the relationship side because I'm telling you, life is short. We're gonna get the most juice from the people and the relationships of the people we have around us and being part of a CEO group will just give you a whole new perspective about the positivity around being around really you know, um, incredible peers. So I hope this video finds you incredibly well. If you uh, feel like it might serve somebody else, feel free to share it with them directly. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you next Monday. <laughs>